What's going on guys? Mike here from WeldTube. I'm here with Rashindo. And I'm also here with Jason from Weld.com. And today we're going to be welding with a... Whoa! Comet <laughs> F25, world's largest electrode. We're going to be running off the DC 1000 at a 1000 amps. So we're going to be on a one inch plate. So let's see what it does. He's a beast. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, guys, today we're going to be using the world's largest electrode. It's a Comet F25 electrode. We have a 1,000 watt ground clamp, makeshift with an all thread and insulation back here. Uh, we couldn't find anybody to rent us a jig to run it, so we're going to do the old fashioned way and manhandle it. So let's get to it. That's right. Beast. So this thing's four foot tall, the electrode. Uh, so we're going to get up on the ladder. We want to keep this piece of material off the concrete, weld over top of concrete. <clears throat> get a good chance of the uh, messing up the concrete below. So we're just gonna go ahead, we got to set up on a little table and we're gonna kind of use the ladder to our advantage for the uh, for height. All right, so the technique I'm gonna use is just the standard drag technique. I'm gonna do a slow, steady pull, just like you would any other 7018, but uh, this one's under the giant stinger apparently. And we're just gonna run a regular butt joint and see what we get when we're done. Things got some serious deposition. Just laying it right down here in the groove, letting the rod do all the work. I'm just maintaining my travel length or my travel angle, work angle. All right, I think we're gonna call it good. Leave some for Mike and Rosendo. Cut it. Yeah. Whoo! Thank you, sir. Whoo! She pretty. You guys want to try it? Yeah, yeah, Get after it, man. All right, Rosendo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the beast right here. Let's see how it goes, all right? Here we go. Live. Live. Now it's just dragging it. I'm dragging it very, very slow. I'm watching my funnel. I'm letting it see, I'm looking at it, I make sure that it's building up on me. No need to rush it. Push, make sure you're feeding at all times. Very, very similar to 7018. <laughs> Live. You're hot.
All right, so what do you guys think? Well, it was a one lifetime experience. I'll tell you that for once. Uh, it's a very big rod, four foot tall. I'm 5'5", five five, so it's only a foot and a half below me. That's the crazy thing about it. Uh, it's one of a kind. It's the reason why we call it the beast, Woo! man. It's uh, very hot. It's hard to handle, to be honest. It's not a one-man operation. What do you think, Rochendo? Uh, honestly, uh, I, I can't do this by myself. I mean, it's pretty heavy. Mm. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely not, not for one person. Oh, no, definitely not. But uh, it was a great experience, though. You liked it? Yeah, yeah, I loved it. Uh, honestly, I... I would definitely do it again. Oh, know, definitely. Just for fun, just I for mean, life. that's exactly what it was for. I had fun doing it, but I don't think uh, I, I don't think I do that professionally. Oh no, not for a living. But uh, thanks, Jason from Well.com hey, for coming appreciate out here. It. Thanks for having me out, man. Hey, awesome. Anytime. Definitely appreciate it. All right, guys. Well, there you have it, man. Uh, comment set F25, three quarter inch rod. It's a big one at a thousand amps. Feel free to subscribe and like us on Instagram and YouTube. Yeah, now y'all have a good one. Peace. Hoorah! Simplify.